Greg, congratulations on you making your 50th appearance for the club this weekend. Um, how pleased are you to get to that milestone? Yeah, really pleased. Um, it's, uh, it's a real privilege. Uh, really enjoyed and enjoy my time here at, at the club and uh, the environment and everything uh, at the moment and the, uh, the journey we're on as a club is, is really enjoyable um, and I've, I've loved my time here so far so it's a real privilege. Yeah, you're continuously improving at the moment, playing some of the best rugby we've seen from you. Um, do you feel you're in a kind of really good place in a bit of a zone at the moment? Yeah, definitely. I think um, as a group of players and, and coaches we've got, we've got a good identity at the moment about how we want to play and uh, we're putting well, we're stringing together some really good performances um, there's boys pushing pushing each other uh, on and off the pitch so it's uh, it's a really good environment to thrive in at the moment and I'm really enjoying it in my coming in from Newcastle to get that opportunity of game time a couple of years ago um, how much do you think you've progressed since joining here? Yeah massively I think um, like, first of all obviously Getting that game time makes a makes a massive difference, and and uh, having the opportunity to to explore different things when you're out there. But the whole environment here, as I've mentioned, is uh, is a has been a great one for for uh, for me to thrive in. I think um, the the coaching, the one to one stuff we get from Wardy, Hollers, um, Jimmy at the moment as well is, uh, is 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 perfect for and exactly kind of what I needed. Um, and parts of my game have definitely come on leaps and bounds since since coming here. Yeah, any particular highlights from those 49 games so far? Yeah, um, really enjoyed um, obviously the, the Champ Cup win. Uh, I think it was the first time as a club we've beaten uh, what, what we would uh, be perceived as Premiership opposition and uh, it was a hell of a day and uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, put a decent performance in so that was a, a highlight and um, and just the, our performances of late have been really enjoyable as well. Like, like as I said, we've, we've we're finding our identity and uh, and we've we've got a load of uh, variety and adaptability around our game at the moment. And it's um, it's a joy to play as a as a ten around and and uh, looking forward to how far we can we can take it. Yeah. Elaborating on your current form a little bit, let's talk about your connection with Hampo at nine. Um, it seems almost telepathic at the moment. Are you kind of getting the best out of each other? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's a great great player to play with. Um, takes a lot of heat off me, and uh, and uh, yeah, really enjoying the partnership again with him. He's he's performing really well at the moment, and. Uh, yeah, he's he's one of our real standout players. So. Yeah, and also Shings as well. I know you push push each other a, a very hard, um, getting a good outcome out of both of you as well. Yeah, exactly. I think we both get get um, get a good amount out of each other. I think Shings is a great bloke and uh, and he's a great player and uh, he's he's uh, also a good guy to learn off for me. Um, the way he sort of. Um, the way he uh, applies himself around the club, and uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great bloke, and it's only good having uh, having us both pushing each other for the club and for the team. Yeah, um, in terms of this weekend, um, Hartbury, what are we expecting from them? Yeah, they've uh, they've close uh, run out last time out against uh, Donny. Um, I think uh, for us, we're really focusing on our uh, on our early on our early stage of our performance this week. I think we were a little bit disappointed with how we started against. Coventry uh, on Friday um, and we know Hartbury are going to come here and uh, they like to play a, quite a, a wide brand of rugby so uh, we're going to first and foremost look to sort of assert our defence on the game and as I said we're quite unhappy with a couple of uh, bits of our performance on Friday night and we'll look to address that and and focus on ourselves as, as we are. Yeah, something I guess we obviously want to continue is the attack. You've been central to that. I think it's 24 tries in the first three games. Mm. How enjoyable is it to play on the front foot like that? Yeah, it's funny. Like I've thought, uh, reflected on a couple of these recent games that uh, uh, watching the games back, that I haven't had a, a load to do as a as a ten, and it's it's a great position to be in. Really, that um, our forwards are doing the business um, when we've got the ball in hand, and uh, and players around us are are really flourishing. So it's. Uh, it's a uh, it's it's a good job to be doing at the moment, and um, yeah, I, I'm really pleased with how our attack's going. We're definitely backing that. And to have four wins out of four, if we uh, end this block on a high, uh, just how good would that be to start the season? Yeah, great. I think uh, yeah, great start to the season. Uh, it's, uh, as we say, it's only the start. We've got a bye week next week, and uh, coming into a block of tough, uh, tough few games, uh, we've got. Sort of Sarries, Pirates, and Jersey to come coming up uh, pretty soon, and 
But I, th I think, as we discussed, we're in a good place. We haven't conceded many tries and uh, we've done a lot of focusing on ourselves and, and our game's pretty strong at the moment. So we're, uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to taking each week as it comes and, and take each challenge as it comes. But uh, Hartbury this weekend and then we reset and look at the, the next few games coming up. But perfect start.